Hey guys, welcome to Yelling at Trees, where uh, we often yell at trees, like so. Ah, yeah. Quit Get off me. my lawn! Yeah, we are uh, we're here tonight, just uh, hanging out in the uh, studio around our round table near our 3D printer. Spatially, I just wanted you to get a feel for it. We can't show you because we don't believe in that kind of technology. <laughs> audio is different. We can send you all the audio in the world, but you're never going to see a video. Because then you'd know what we look like and you'd be disappointed. <laughs> like <I'm> my mom. <laughs> I, I, just, I just don't hear vid- videos. That's my problem. Right. I, I see them, but I don't hear them. Tonight's podcast is uh, brought to you by the Olive Garden. When you're <laughs> here, your family... Olive Garden makes no claims. Yeah, they don't know it, but uh, we had Olive Garden for dinner, which is why we're still alive. So in in many ways, we are brought to you directly <laughs> by Olive Garden. Yeah, we are not brought to you by Michelob Ultra. And Corey's my brother, so we are family. Yeah. What? We go there all the time. We so prove, him, when we I'm prove here, them right. They're family. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... While we were at Olive Garden tonight, uh, a funny thing happened. Um, a girl that was not our waitress, nor did I notice her at any point before that as someone else's waitress, but definitely worked there, uh, came out from the back room with my Dr. Pepper. And she came around the corner, and uh, you you hear about people like being kind of confused about where they're going sometimes, but I have never in my life seen somebody who was so obviously <laughs> lost as I did tonight. And she's literally just like glancing around the room like she's never experienced that room before. This half of the restaurant. <laughs> Where like, am I? Where did this come Who from? Who am I? <laughs> it's like, how on, did I get here? On training day and all of the days since then, she's just somehow avoided that entire half of the restaurant. <laughs> but, wow, they added on another wing. <laughs> but like as she approached our table and I realized that that's probably my drink, I went, hi. And she goes, Dr. Pepper? puts the drink on the table and then wanders away silently. Ne- never like engaged on any level. Just like <laughs> Dr. Pepper. That's like the whole conversation right there. Yeah. It was a, uh, it was an experience for sure. Like I wonder now having seen that, if that's the look on my face pretty regularly when I'm wandering aimlessly with you're like things Dr. in my Pepper. head. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Think. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah. That really is the cry of my heart, Doctor Pepper. But like as a question, not like as a statement. So like if you go as to a, a Lowe's or something, and plunger, plunger, oh, plunger. Am I in the right aisle? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> oh my gosh, is this Home Depot? What? <laughs> why? Why is there bird food here? Why is everyone wearing a orange? Will apron? this cook my waffles? <laughs> That's not a metaphor or euphemism. Like, sometimes you just have to think, can I cook waffles with this? If it's a plunger, the answer is probably no. <laughs> not necessarily. But if you get a no, magnifying glass, probably. it's an aluminum foil. Yeah. I'm sure there's enough equipment at the at the Lowe's to build something that would cook waffles. Mm. Yeah. Waffles. Very slowly or yeah. over a fire, but yeah, most likely. Like a piece of sheet metal? piece of metal that's got holes in it and some kind of torch you know i'm kind of intrigued by what you're saying i actually have never had wood fired hardwood smoked waffles and I'm, <laughs> now i'm thinking i should <laughs> this does sound like it could be a it could be a success it'd have to be like cast iron or something yeah well i mean we're well, the used waffles to like, wouldn't be but we're used to griddled yeah, waffles yeah. waffles cooked on a hot metal piece of metal would that be pancakes. Sense. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would, it would be. There'd have to be dimples in whatever we were cooking wow. on to make, it to make it a waffle. I mean, is that, is that the only difference between pancakes and waffles? Is like in the, the waffle, in? because That's it's on the cute. iron, it is heated on both sides at the same time, which makes it fluff and go into that shape. Whereas a pancake, you have to flip to the other side to cook the other side for like 10 seconds. I think it'd be fun to play waffle like uh, war where you're like, you're actually doing like you would for battleship, but you just, you know, plant little, you know, little treats all over the, the waffle. And then, you know, the person has to name what quadrant <laughs> it's in and everything. And then they get the, get the candy if they get it right. You should make a waffle iron that prints 
the the A through G and the one through twelve, yes. <laughs> yes. so that you can do that. Battleship waffles, people. You've heard it hit first here. This, this is a brilliant plan. <laughs> we can never release this recording. <laughs> Someone will take our idea, and it'll be on Amazon in a week. Oh goodness! Is it not already? Uh, I mean, I'm, all right. I've never looked it up. Corey I bet there's is a company now opening Amazon on his phone <laughs> to look at. See. No, that's IMDb. Battleship probably. waffles. Those are the two words you're going to look for. You're going to tell us if it exists already. It doesn't really matter because if it doesn't exist, we're probably not going to have the uh, drive to make it exist, and somebody else will. So, all of you listeners, Go for the it. four or five of you that are <laughs> consistently listening to our podcast for some reason, uh, somebody please get on this. Make Battleship, Battleship waffles, waffles a thing. Uh, in the first page of results, oh gosh, there is no Battleship waffles, but there is a... Darth Vader head waffle maker. Nope, not even nope. close. <laughs> that's purely decorative. You know what? They're forcing that. I think they're they're using force on that. That's that's purely decorative. In no way could we actually battle on Darth Vader's face. Yeah, I mean, if you burn it, is it, are you turning it to the dark side? I mean, is that what you're doing? That's a great question. The dark side of waffles. <laughs> well, I mean, it could just be chocolate waffles. I don't know. Yeah, that's also true. Or just kind of burnt waffles. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, no, those are the two that check out. <laughs> I could come up with more ideas, but they wouldn't be worth anything. Like maybe like really, really rich, blueberry heavy blueberry waffles. There is a waffle Boysenberry. iron that is large and square, looks like one, two. Three. Your mom's large and square. Like six by <laughs> eight squares. <laughs> We know. But that. it's a crap. That's my mom. It's like a cast iron that you <laughs> can it. use over a campfire. Where you <laughs> that have to happens flip more it. times than that. Your mom jokes with your siblings just aren't quite as fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, your mom's a school bus. That's accurate. Crap. That means my mom's. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Good times though. When my mom sits around that. Wait, no, that's not how that goes. <laughs> my mom's so. F wait. <laughs> I mean. You, my mama jokes don't really yeah. work at all, really. My, my mama jokes. <laughs> my mama is so good at making chili. Ugh. I'm hungry. I'm going to go home and have some chili. <laughs> I got to go, guys. <laughs> it's getting awful late. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's, it's chilly Screw 30 you, right Ted. now. It's half past chili right now. Looks <laughs> like the closest we get is uh, waffle building bricks, which Tetris waffles make them to a oh, three gosh. or four length with like Lego <laughs> bead things on top of them rather than <laughs> nice waffle so it's Legos. Not the, that's uh, got to be infringing that's a waffly, on some sort that's of that's a copyright. waffly good idea though waffly good idea there's a waffle no, bowl maker that's waffle that's that a waffle, waffle it's idea waffle. <laughs> it's a waffle joke <laughs> uh, oh gosh tetris waffles would be fun Sounds like you got a disease when you say Tetris, though, doesn't it? Yeah, man, I got the Tetris. I got my Tetris vaccination. <laughs> uh, it should be okay for another year. Did you get your Tetris shot this week? Yeah, man, I got two of them, <laughs> just in case. I don't want to get the blocks. <laughs> <laughs> got Tetris blocks. Oh, man, that's that sounds the wildly box. uncomfortable. Just wildly uncomfortable. I don't want that. Uh. And then I got yeah. Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, Got a case of the Minecrafts. Yeah, yeah. Had one of those loot boxes and it hit me hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's that's awful. Yep. Anyway, so uh, here we are at the house. Um, it's January 2021. We uh, we survived 2020 only to immediately be greeted by just way worse things than we could have expected. Mm. Um, uh, everybody that's in charge of our government now is a liberal. Mm. Which is super exciting because uh, they they are still calling conservatives names while not accomplishing anything, mm. even though they now have unchecked power. They've still not done anything. So uh, anyway, I found a Ninja Turtles waffle uh, maker. That okay. that is not a battleship game. There's no point. But in it makes Ninja anymore. Turtle face on your waffles, what? and the other side looks like a manhole cover. Are you, you, gonna, know? Are you really gonna feel good eating the face of a Ninja Turtle every morning? I don't know. It depends if I uh, use Raphael's strawberry syrup face, and okay. make the bandage red. Sounds, uh, I can eat Raphael's face. I'm not feel bad about it. That <laughs> guy's a jerk. Eating turtle every morning sounds awful French. <laughs> Bring me some turtle soup. Is he French toast? Snappy. Is he French toast turtle? Because then it would be like 
acceptable. I, I I did eat frog legs at a French restaurant once. Really? Yeah. It was called a foie gras or something like that. You, he just foie gras himself. Oh, oh, that is one foie gras. Foie gras it actually, sounds like you're like pleading for mercy. Foie gras, foie gras. It's, or it's a uh, foie gras. Yeah. Yeah, don't feed them after, after midnight. After midnight. Yeah. Do not eat frog legs after midnight. That's the rules. Oh, God. And keep them away from water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Don't swim away. That's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, take a deep breath. <gasps> By the way, if you are listening to this podcast, it is because of Anchor.fm. Anchor is a free app in the App Store for any mobile device. There's also an app on the computer and a web interface, and it lets you record your podcast right there on that device. You don't have to use like sophisticated Pro Tools or Logic or a mixer board or any of that fun stuff. You just hit a button. And you talk about what you want to talk about. I like it. I like it too. It's really exciting because you can make a podcast and it distributes it to like 12 or 15 different podcast services all at once on their end. You don't actually have to like go submit it to iTunes or something like that. That is super convenient. It is super convenient. It's great. And you can do sponsorships. So you can do like little promotional commercial type stuff and then they give you some money. Yeah. Which... Money is nice. It gets things and stuff. Correct. Yeah. Highlights. Free app. Easy distribution. Instantly record. Done. Yeah. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. And we're back. <sighs> my goodness. That's the longest I've ever held my breath. We've been uh, we've been splitting the podcast wow. in half so that we could put the advertisement that we made for, um, for Anchor FM. Not to be confused with Olive Garden. At the beginning. Nice. And uh, yeah, so uh, either we we edit it in post or we take a deep breath and hold it for about three minutes. (laughs) (laughs) Ow. It's just, yeah, my side hurts a little, but that's something that happens a lot because of my uh, badly put together body. (laughs) I mean, it seems like it was in much better shape a long time ago. And now, like uh, when I'm like standing in my living room, and the remote control is on the low table in front of the couch, and I have to reach for it, I involuntarily go, <laughs> It's It's funny, because I, I think I'm I, I'm kind of the same way, except I make little noises that sound more like the $6 million man. <laughs> because exactly. I want it more dramatic, you know, because if I'm going to go slow, I want it to seem like the video is just slowed down, and I'm actually going fast, you see? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's slow motion, kind of. It's just it's just it's not slow motion. It's slow motion. motion. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you get older. No, this is not trick photography. It's not. I'm really going that slow. Is, it's not even photography. This is trick audio. <laughs> we actually had listen, to do time re- lapse to see it actually happen in motion because otherwise listen, you wouldn't. I'm gonna realize run moving. across the room. Are you ready? Whoa. Do you feel a cold breeze? <laughs> I'm so fast. Is there a ghost in the room? I'm like the Flash if he were slowed down about 140 times. <laughs> and fat. Instead of Flash, <laughs> you're like... And you in know. my house. <laughs> so, uh, like I was saying, uh, way before we, we held our breath for several minutes, uh, it's 2021. It's January. January is almost over. And uh, nice. as my... Uh, I hate New Year's resolutions, but like, yeah, as my first. goal for the year, I decided I was going to write a song every day, at least one song every day for this year. And uh, I've done that successfully wow. for, what, 30 days now? Mm. I have to write a song mm-hmm. today. I haven't done that yet, but I have to. It's getting late. And it's I've written 52 songs Nice. in 30 days, which is, let's do the math. A lot. One more than 51 songs. It is. <laughs> that is. That's, uh, that's some quick math. I, right I don't there. even have to get a calculator for that math. That's uh, great. And some of those songs, you would not be mad if you had to listen to them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On the other hand, several of those songs, if you were forced to listen to them, you would be upset. <laughs> like, why have you done this to me? Why I are think you wasting I'm my time? Having heard that, <laughs> <laughs> may have lost a brain cell or two there. I award you no way. points this round. 
and may God have mercy on your soul. (laughs) (laughs) So we know that the people that are listening to this podcast are really just listening for all of our random movie references. I've seen Shrek, just saying. Not bragging. (laughs) Just saying. You remember the 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 movie with, uh, oh, what's his name? Johnny Knoxville, where he's like trying to rig the Special Olympics, but he's not as good an athlete as any of the kids. Have you seen that one? <laughs> I have not. I no. think it's called The Ringer. Yep. But okay. uh, at one point, um, he's hanging out with these two guys, you know, mentally handicapped guys who are competitors in the sport. And one of them has the ability to recall all of the statistics off the back of a baseball player's card, any baseball nice. player's card. So he's testing it and saying baseball players and the kids reading off all the stats and he's pretty impressed. And then another kid goes, oh yeah, ask me about any movie. And he goes, okay, uh, The Wizard of Oz. And he goes, that's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's pretty much my commentary too. His, his superpower was I could tell you if I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that was a pretty good times right there. It was a little short, but it was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I like how some of it was good, and the other part was okay. Yep. There's so favorite many kind of those movie. movies. Yeah, I've been wanting to 3D print myself a new friend. You guys can work on that for me. How big do you want him to be? Because like that, that three D printer than me. only does like an arm's worth of printing at a time. Okay, it takes a couple of days. Like we could print a small a small person in a, like a week, maybe. But okay. he wouldn't be functional. He'd just be hard plastic. Right. Yeah, that's, which is a lot like some of the people it. I'm friends with. <laughs> uh, that's when you it, shock it with electricity, and then that. it comes back. No. no. <laughs> I have a friend who I get all used my to live in LA. I bet she knows a movies. lot of hard plastic people. <laughs> ah. I get all my science facts from movies, so I'm pretty sure if I shock it with electricity or th- or throw it into electrified water, that definitely would do it. Um, maybe maybe breathe on it or something. Maybe something. I don't know. I've studied a little physics, and if you electrocuted hard plastic, it would probably just melt. Especially cool, plastic that's made to melt at relatively low temperatures, like the PLA filament that we use in our 3D printer. Like that's my melting degrees. Friend. PLA is an acronym. It stands for PLA. Stick. Stick. PLA. Stick. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I guess in that way it's more of an abbreviation than an a- acronym. An acronym has letters in it that represent words, and an abbreviation... Is abbreviated. Except it's longer when you say the word abbreviated. Right. I like that when you're reading the dictionary, there is an abbreviation for abbreviation, and it's a brv. Or <laughs> ab- 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 It's a b b r v. I think is what it is. Abbrev. I like makes more. a lot of sense. Yeah, life should be more abbrev, don't you think? Totes. <laughs> totes. Life should be totes at abrev. all. <laughs> Wait, did I just say that we should live shorter lives? I kind of did, didn't I? Well, we could take care of that. I'll be back. <laughs> well, life is meaningful, <laughs> and um, the shorter it is, maybe you're just cramming more meaning per second. Yeah, into maybe it. to be more meaningful. Or yeah, no, that checks out. After sure. I said it, I'm like, no, that still works. We yeah. need to get a cricket noise on here. There is one. There's is one there? on there, but we don't use those. And we uh, don't know which button is on which <laughs> color. We didn't <laughs> map them out. I'm going to take, I'm gonna take a chance. Them. Cricket noise? Oh, yeah. No, I've got it all turned off. Oh, man. I was going to go right And that one is like... Oh, it's like a rock music, music intro. It plays forever. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> one of them goes... And I'm like... It's built into the roadcaster. Everybody that has a roadcaster has that sound. I wonder how many people by default have that as their theme song for their <laughs> podcast. Going right into it. Yeah. yeah. Like, every, like, oh, here comes a po- podcast. <laughs> one in six Roadcaster podcast has that particular song. They're like, welcome to so and so's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's World. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, we do, we do need to come up with a theme song. We're musicians. I've that, written 52 songs that. this year, and we don't that have a be, theme song that's that could ours. Be number I mean, 53 come on. right there. Yeah, number 53. Podcast, listen to the podcast. Woo! This is number 53. 53! Yeah. Woo! Teamwork. Wheelie, 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 wow! Wheelie, wow! America! <laughs> I mean, Mexico, what, I don't know, whatever. Maybe. I'm, my hope is that pretty soon Texas will become its own country so I can move there. Mm. 
Because that would be they nice. Would, then they wouldn't let we us. We have relatives that live there. You got to yeah. move there so, beforehand because otherwise they the may not United let us States in. The United States of Texas, probably. You think they'd break up into states just for the fun of it, or would they just stay Texas? Probably just Texas. I wonder if they'd actually like build a wall or the rest the <laughs> rest of the way around their state too, just to keep Americans out. But I don't think it would take much for that wall would probably either of the countries important. around them to take it back. <laughs> the North Wall would probably be more important for Texas than the Southern Wall. <laughs> That's right. Like we don't want to keep. I mean, Mexican people they come in and, and they bring tacos, but the yeah. people from the North they come in and they bring crippling debt. <laughs> I I don't know, something like that. And people running from income taxes. And you would think everything that I do here, I could do in Texas. Like for money, maybe even more of it. Definitely. Yeah. It's bigger in Texas. You'd have a bigger show. (laughs) Right. At least one more person. I don't know who's listening (laughs) to this. I work for churches. I make online services happen. Yay. I I tell people where to point cameras and I hit record. (laughs) What's funny is when I I was a kid. Stop. That's important. When I was a kid, we used to joke about uh, every, you know people going to Bedside Baptist when they slip in and don't make it to church. Now, so now they have now that. Now they can do that. They can actually <laughs> go to Bedside Baptist. Now it's called Netflix. No, Ooh. Or just your local church piped into your TV. Didn't they used to have church flicks or something like that? Pure flicks. Pure flicks, Pure yes. flicks. Is that It's still around? around. Man, I mean. It has like all of those How movies many movies can it? Kevin Sorbo be in? I mean, seriously. <laughs> Or, I don't know. Uh, or Sam. It's, I think after he dies, they the, still have rights to make movies with him for five more years. It's the craziest thing, too, because <laughs> Kevin Sorbo is famous for playing a Greek deity. Yes. And now he makes exclusively faith-based Christian movies. There you go. What What are the odds, right? It's awesome. Of, like, how many people do you know are famous for playing gods? Like, pagan gods. I, well, I see, can only think the guys of him. Who play Superman and uh, <laughs> well, okay, yeah, I'll give you Marvel characters in general, sure. <laughs> so there's maybe twenty, and one of them is the only guy I know of that's consistently making Christian films. Mm. That's crazy. Sam's in a lot of them too. Who's Sam? Like Sam and Frodo. Oh, Rudy. yeah, 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 yeah. Sean yeah. Austin. Sure. Yeah. Like the the, the the wrestler. No, that's <laughs> Steve Austin. That's Steve Austin. <laughs> I wonder if they're related. Wouldn't Sean that be Astin, great? Sean Aston, not Astin. Austin. I was way off. No, but he's in a bunch of them yeah, too. I said it wrong. It's not Sean, it's Sean. There you go. Sean, Aston. It. Yes. Yeah, that, okay. That's uh, yeah, that makes more sense. He's in so many movies. He is. Every time it's like, I mean, Sam he's or in Rudy. like what fifteen Lord of the Rings movies. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're still making them. No, at least three, but fifteen hours worth of footage. <laughs> Easily. Yeah. Wait, he's not in the Hobbit movies? No, they did like a a complete different cast. At least one of them, because I I know that the other guy is in one of the Hobbit movies. Elijah Wood. Yeah, yeah, he's a cameo in it. Well, I guess I haven't seen the. Well, yeah, because okay, so that's what it is. Because the Hobbit series starts with old Bilbo, right, and then flashes back to the beginning of his Mm. story as he's writing it. But but what's his name? Elijah, Elijah Wood, Wood is walking around in the house while he's starting mm. to write it. That makes sense. That's right. Yeah, and they've got that cloud of like whatever fog around and everybody's laughing at each other on a bed. <laughs> some it's kind of strange. Some it's like kind the beginning of, of small. Somewhere. I'm confused. I must have missed this one. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just thinking of the end of the hey, uh, there's I think forty seven <laughs> hours of those movies. It, I can't I can't blame you for missing ten minutes. I think my younger brother Jay, who we had on a podcast earlier about the bees, <laughs> about the and bees, all the living in the woods, took me to see that first Hobbit when it came out for my birthday. But I'm not remembering much about it. I think I'll need to rewatch them again. I know. Ugh, Sometimes man. it just makes you want to say. What? Apparently, I went to the bathroom during the mountains turned into golems and were fighting. And he was like, "Oh, that was the best part of the movie." I was like, oh, I went to the bathroom. I also don't part. recall that part. <laughs> Is it possible that we all went to the bathroom at the same time during different showings of the same movie? Or, uh, or is it more possible that your brother is hilarious and made up a scene that you would be upset he, about missing? It probably exists. <laughs> no, because I think I remembered seeing like Dude, you part missed it. of it. Superman showed up as I left or as I got Gandalf back from it. Face. <laughs> Cape whipping Man. in the wind. <laughs> saying none shall pass <laughs> what the hell's deep <laughs> yeah it happens you know just in case <laughs> anyway uh so yeah uh that's that's all the time we got for right now uh that was a good conversation about 
Yeah, I have no idea. We'll have to like listen to it and figure out what it's called. We'll be back. Yeah, we will we'll be, be back. back. We're going to have another one of these Ready? podcasts almost immediately after this. Actually, Absolutely. we're going to hit stop, and then we're going to just pretend that it's a different day. That's how we roll. Absolutely wow. not sponsored by Olive Garden. Yeah, this nope. is absolutely not sponsored by Olive Garden, where you're like family when even, you're there. Even Michelob Ultra is kind of like, eh, I mean, in all honesty, we are not sponsored by the Olive Garden, but by the time you hear this, hopefully we will be. Definitely because powered that by chicken the Olive Garden. is powered amazing. By, yes. That's right, powered by the Olive chicken Garden. Chicken Noki Soup. It's not Ugh. spelt like it sounds. Yeah. It's spelt like G N O C C I, and there might be an apostrophe in there it's randomly. It's like gnomes were spelling it or something. <laughs> yeah, chicken gnomi. Gnome. <laughs> but it's it's the best thing ever. It is like what ten dollars for all the soup and salad you can eat. Yeah. It may be even you a little cheaper if about. you go during lunchtime. But it's it's enough that when you leave the restaurant, you will have to throw up or go to the bathroom. Mm. Uncomfortably full. Oh, oh, I was so f- I am still uncomfortably full of chicken gnocchi and that was a good hour ago yeah and i had like five breadsticks with it you too. know when I you're there your family but when you leave you totally just they totally disown you it's <laughs> like they don't care who you are now i'm here, sorry here, officer, take these chocolate i do not know and, this yeah. man and get take, some tro- take some chocolate mints and walk <laughs> away just walk away anyway that's been yelling at trees ah! Ah! get off my lawn get out of here you shrub